Hello everybody, it's Sanyo, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Bill Gates commenting on CRISPR. I want to talk about why I believe that the sector of genomics, whether that's CRISPR, mapping, diagnostics, all sorts of technologies under the genomics umbrella will have the biggest the biggest acceleration in the year 2022 and going forward. It, it will be a really fun video. Now, before we do that, before we jump into this video, you guys know exactly what I'll ask you. Destroy that like button really does help the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you want to go a step further, guys, starting yesterday, we now added the join button underneath this video. If you're using a web browser or if you are on an Android device, you will see it. If you don't, if you are on iOS or an Apple device, you will not see it due to Apple regulations on the App Store and so on. But again, if you're using a web browser on your computer, if you're using an Android device, you will see the join button. If you click on it, it'll basically ask you to join a membership program to basically allow you to have a cool title that I called it Mad Scientist. I think we're all scientists in this space. We're all researchers. Uh, I found that title to be cool. And basically, there's a monthly subscription to this channel if you want to help this channel. And what we do with this revenue, obviously, as I mentioned in the past, it will be reinvested in genomics company, CRISPR companies, in which we will, the end goal really is to basically donate that to a specific charity or to a specific cause that we all will have a say on it. Now, before you guys get any questions on it, guys, this, we are so early this channel. There's so much we want to achieve. And really that join button allows you to basically contribute further. Again, that's all I ask from you guys to watch our videos, like it, share it. We have no courses to sell. We have no, uh, no paid content. We don't have any Patreon specific groups where we share specific videos. All our information here is for free. It's given for you for free. That is the mission of this channel is to open source information. That has always been the mission of this channel. So hopefully you guys appreciate it. And thank you so much for the people want to support this channel. So I want to go back to this video here and Bill Gates, almost 3 million subscribers on YouTube, I think needs no introduction. Bill Gates is literally, in my opinion, the most popular person throughout all generations. Maybe Elon Musk took over in the recent years, but Bill Gates was here for decades, especially in the 90s and 2000s. He was literally the, the golden poster boy for being a successful entrepreneur, right? And the idea that Bill Gates is talking about CRISPR to me is amazing. We've seen reports in the past months ago, even years ago, that Bill Gates actually invested with his foundation, the Bill Gates Foundation. I think Melinda Gates also in, is in the title, although they're divorced now, but that's another topic. Uh, but they basically their foundation invested um, significant funds into resources to help HIV treatment through CRISPR. We've actually covered in this channel progress with HIV treatment with CRISPR. If you're curious, just Google that in our video catalog, just search it for our video catalog. But basically, Bill Gates here is explaining the book from uh, Walter Isaacson, and I've covered this book in the past. I think it's an amazing book. And Bill Gates, it says no different, right? He goes over the book. I will not play the video because of copyright, but just know that he's going over the video. He's going over the idea how CRISPR works, how the RNA guide allows it to work, and how the application go from mosquitoes all the way to quote unquote designer babies. Obviously, talks about the ethical issues, but really, it's a it's a recommendation for all viewers to look at the book of Isaacson. Um, book, right? And which obviously talks about Jennifer Doudna and everything and anything to do with CRISPR. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because you have this individual coming out, posting this video and basically talking about CRISPR, how it works. And I just found that fascinating, right? And this actually moves on to my next train of thought, right? And I strongly believe 2021 was perhaps the worst year we will ever see in human history about biotech genomics, specifically CRISPR companies, you know, mapping companies. We saw what happened with BNGO. We've seen what happened with uh, CRISPR companies such as CRISPR Therapeutics, Beam Therapeutics, Graphite Bio, Verve Therapeutics. All these companies have been hit so hard. And even the ARC G fund, including Teladoc, obviously the highest holding of this fund, ARC Genomics Fund, which I've covered in this channel in the past, it has been hit so hard, guys. It is down over 42% for an ETF over a year. 
That is unprecedented. That is a big red flag for investors, and it's definitely something they are completely staying away. I know a lot of people are staying away from this fund, but I like to remind you guys to do one thing in that past history. Don't do one year, do five years. Look at the return, right? Look at the return, guys. Just look at the return. Let the numbers speak, right? Almost 300%, quadruple your earnings, right? Do max, you know, look at since 2014, since it came about, right? So the point of doing that exercise is to remind you guys, we are in it for the long term. When we talk about genomics company, when we talk about these types of companies, we are talking about years and years, right? In the last video yesterday, we talked about Sana Biotechnology, and they won't even file IND submission until 2023, even one programs for 2024. Yet, they're valued a couple of billions, and we believe they could be worth more billions. And I, I do believe it's deservingly so, right? The data they have, the action plan they have so far on mice, the research papers they have, they believe in their technologies. And like Biotech 2K1, the user we covered last video, believes that this company like Sana Biotechnology could really be even higher than all CRISPR companies combined. And I truly believe there's a space, there's an argument, there's an angle to that. But on top of what I want to offer to you guys, on top of what I want to offer to you guys is we've seen these companies get hit hard like CRISPR therapeutics. What is going on? You know, this is 60%. That's just crazy. 62%. I strongly believe all these companies will rebound, right? This is the longest bear market in biotech in human history. And it makes sense, right? 2020 started, the pandemic started, all these stocks got wholly, wholly invested in by all types of investors, whether that's retail, institution, you've seen the BlackRock, you've seen the ARK Invest pump more money to it. And basically 2021 was basically a down year for the markets early on, just in general, but then most of the markets recovered except biotech, right, except genomics. And that's because a lot of people stepped away from those companies, right? And a really important note I want to make, and I was reading this Reddit thread like two or three days ago, and it was a thread about uh, expectation in 2020, right? There was a thread, end of 2020, there was a thread going on. It was a very popular thread on the R stocks, right? Subreddit stocks, which is which has like almost 2 million members actually. And it asked all members, you know, which is the next companies, which is the next sector to have the biggest boom. And I kid you not, CRISPR companies, biotech companies, genomics companies were all basically within the top five posts, right? There was maybe one out of five posts were like it was Square and the other one was like, um, I don't even remember what it was, but it was another, I think it was Peloton. And I don't even want to talk about Peloton. We've all seen a huge drop of Peloton. But really, you know, you can see that there's there was a lot of hype, a lot of expectation for these companies end of 2020. And clearly you, the stock price reflects that many bag holders, as you want to call them, people just started selling. And then you have all these people that came in in 2018, 2019, 2020 and started selling over time. But and that makes sense, right? It's completely fine. I mean, people want to make profits. I want to take profits. Uh, no one was ever wrong for taking profits off the table, right? But, but, but there's a concept of opportunity cost, right? And that is another topic for another day. I've made a video about it, but the point here I'm trying to make here without going uh, too far with it with, and into the rabbit hole is that I strongly believe that CRISPR therapeutics, all these CRISPR companies, all they've done so far is to show better data, more patient dose. They're advancing their program with safety. Now, obviously there's some companies like Allogene that sort of messed up on their data, or at least that's what... The public markets have said, and that's why some of these companies have been hit hard. Some companies clearly just didn't work out, like Bluebird, and it has affected markets in general. But as we go forward, right, more patients are doing As we go to a time where phase one clinical data for CBO010, for Kaibu Biosciences, is, is phased in, right, you get data in. As you go with beam therapeutics with additional partnerships, as you go with NTLA LA with NTLA 2001, additional in vivo data, and of course CTX 001, you get it to a potential FDA approval by end of 2022, hopefully 2023, just a speculation, not financial advice. We will see the biggest acceleration of the genomics, genomic sector. I strongly believe that. I think we will all see that within our eyesight, we will be shocked at the rise. And again, this is not financial advice. You guys have to do your own research. But just things are pointing to that direction right now. 
longest bear market. We all know what happens after a bear market. A bull market has to happen. This is not rocket science, guys. I wish it was, but it really is not. And I think there are opportunities here. Again, you guys have to do your own research. You have to commit to your own uh, thesis, and then you have to come up with your own conviction, and then you have to stick with it, right? This is how we operate in this channel. So hope you guys appreciate this video. If you did, do like this video, smash the like button, destroy the like button, subscribe if you have not. And thank you so much for watching on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. We will see each other during the week. I'll be a little bit busy, but I'll try my best to make videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you.